row people. Today it's just me and today we're going to be playing Adopt a Corgi Anime Edition. And basically we're going to try to adopt one of these adorable little corgis that all have like really cliche anime personalities. Nah, I'm quite excited. So without further ado, here we go. My adult life began in a musty little apartment in an unfamiliar town. The quaint neighborhood was pleasant, but it didn't really feel like home. Everything felt strangely empty. My landlord assured me that the feeling would pass with time. Once I unpacked my things and grew used to my new job in town, things would get better. Part of me wasn't so sure. Before I moved, I had family to keep me company. I even had a family dog. I talked with my landlord about my troubles. The topic of having a pet in the apartment added a twinkle to his eye. He mentioned that he even allowed one pet for a tenant, as well as various other rules regarding animals in the building. He talked about pets and previous tenants for a long while. Eventually, he left and I thought over what he said. The idea of having a pet interests me, and I did have a week before I started work. Wait, when I drove into town, I saw a corgi breeder advertising business. I always wanted one, so maybe it was fate. It wouldn't hurt to look. With one final glance towards the stack of unpacked boxes in the corner of the room, I made my way towards the breeder's sign. Day one. The breeder's home looked more like a secluded grove from the entrance. The scent of fresh flowers filled the air as I approached. The gate was unlocked and... Excuse me. Alright. The gate was unlocked and a rather pretty woman stood on the other side as if she was expecting my visit. I could barely focus on what she said due to the light barking I heard somewhere on the premise. Oh, hello! What's your name? My name is... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh... 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 Yep. Welcome, Strawberry. Come on in. We have six little pups right up for adoption now. You probably saw our sign along the road, right? We're holding a sort of open house event in the house at the town's blueberry festival, where we hope the <laughs> where hopefully these six pups will find good homes. It's been difficult to find anyone willing to adopt them, but I have high hopes for this time. Oh, but what am I doing yakking about you all day? The pups are in the back. I'll take you to them. The kind breeder led me through her home. Various canine figurines and pictures decorated the walkway. The smell of dogs and baked treats filled the rooms and assaulted my senses. The softer scents of flowers were only a memory now. We walked down the hallway, passing the kitchen and several other locked doors. Closed doors. We, was, we stopped at an open room filled with several cute dogs. There they are. Go ahead and get to know them. I'll be in the kitchen preparing for the festival's bake sale. Of course. <laughs> of course the friendliest pup would approach you first. This is Dere, and the sporty one behind her is soon. You two behave for our guest, okay? The breeder left me alone in the room, but the energetic pup in front of me demanded my attention. Oh, are you here to adopt me? Pick me, pick me! No one will adopt you if you scream at them. Baka! Oh, but, but they're here to adopt, right? Right? If they are, acting like that will only scare them away. Baka. <laughs> Shush. Don't you know anything? <laughs> so, human. I heard her call you Strawberry earlier. What's your name, right? Yeah. But what do you care? Uh... I already am quite attached to soon, so... Mm. I don't know, sometimes they like it when you're, like, grumpy back. Ooh, let's go safe. What a weird name. Well, whatever. As the human said before, I'm Soon and that doofus is Dere. Oh, no, you're so mean, Soon. I'm just excited. Everyone else was adopted, but we weren't. So, we don't need humans, right, Strawberry? I mean... It's not like I care if you adopt me or not. So, is that what you're here for, or what? Yeah, I want to get to know you all, but I can only adopt one of you. Um, if you don't really care, why would you ask? 
Isn't they on only the two of you? I thought there were six corgis. Uh, jeez. This one's more specifically for him. Uh, uh yeah. Two of you. In the little, like, the description of this game, it said something about, like, if you want to adopt one of these puppers, you gotta make sure that you do the right question, right answers, because, uh, it matters. So, that's why I'm taking a bit more time with them. Uh, um, shit. Uh, I'm gonna say... This is the safest one, I guess. That didn't really answer my question, you know. But whatever. Yeah, there's six of us in total. Even if Strawberry came to adopt us or not, it, it's nice to see a new face. I bet the others would love to meet you too. Do you want to meet them? I, they're, blah, 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 blah. they're two over there by the TV. Hime is on her throne and I don't know where Yan is. Oh, well, why don't we start with Hime? She's alone by her throne at the moment, so you can go talk to her while I look for Yan. Come with me, I'll introduce you. Oh man. We're soon. Come back. Sitting atop a makeshift throne of couch cushions, a lone pup looked out over the small living room as if a queen in her castle. There was a distinct air of feigned royalty about this corgi, but Derry didn't seem to mind at all. Hime, this is Strawberry. They're here to adopt. I see. Mm -hmm. I'm showing them around and letting them meet the others. Speaking of which, have you seen Yon? I believe he was still sulking after her previous owner returned her. Oh, I forgot. Well, that just means I have to go cheer her up. I'll be RB. What does BRB even mean? And just like that, it was only me and the corgi named Hime. Her act hadn't changed since Dere left. It left a rather stale tension between us. I opened my mouth to start some small talk, but was interrupted immediately. So, you are here to adopt, yes? Once again, I opened my mouth to speak, but of course you are. The prim dog <laughs> popped its muzzle away as if it smelled something foul, or maybe it watched too many old-timey shows. How did you get your name? Did I do something to offend? That's a beautiful gown you have. I especially love the tiara. That's probably what she wants to hear, so... I don't know. I don't know. I want to meet all the puppers before I start being particular with each one. How did you get your name? The human of this abode is a fan of... <laughs> is a huge weeb. My siblings and I are all named after it. It may fits me perfectly. It means queen. A soft yet harsh growl sounded from nearby. It sounds, it almost sounded like a voice coming from one of the other corgis correcting Hime on the meaning being princess instead. I was gonna say that, but I didn't want to be that weeb. <laughs> Who did it? The queen-like dog popped her muzzle in the opposite direction with a sharp <laughs> She may have heard the same correction. Regardless, your stench is coating my throne, so that's all you need. A voice from before disappeared and there was no body in sight to accompany it. As if displeased with the disappearance, Hime's harsh glare softened slightly. <laughs> Human, if you have somewhere else to d something else to ask, feel free to do so now. My court has been rather somber lately. I'm in need of entertainment. I want to know more about you. Anything you want to tell me about yourself? Do you know a lot about the others? Nice weather we're having. I'm sorry, Hime. Is that some sort of joke? Whatever. You're obviously not worth my time if you think small talk is interesting. You should be ashamed. Even my siblings are better conversationalists than you. I think you don't get along. Wonder what Dara is taking till so long. Um. Sorry, Yume. It's natural to like some, but dislike others. I just haven't found my preferred location yet. You could change that, though, you know. Hi, hi! So, how did it go? It went okay. Hime is interesting. Um. Awesome! Well, I found Yan. Sorry, Hime, but I'm gonna borrow our human guest for a while. Go right ahead. We moved away from the empowered presence and further away from the couch. Two other dogs were standing nearby. One was soon, and the other were pink. Derry bounced happily a few times before talking again. I need to go check up on the two by the TV, so I'm gonna leave you with Yan and soon for a little while. Have fun while I'm gone, okay? 
Hey, Sun and Yun, here's the human. I'll be our beat. Yo, so you met the diva on our pillow throne, eh? Have you met the nerds by the TV? Uh, not yet. I'm here to talk to you two first. So you've already talked to me, so I guess you mean Yun specifically, right? I mean both of you. Tell me a little about yourselves. Me too. Well, you already know me from earlier, right? My name is Soon. Sounds kind of like Soon, but don't make any jokes, okay? Oh, uh, I don't really know you well enough to say more. If you come around often enough, I'll tell you more, okay? And that leaves Yan. Why don't you speak up? Don't leave me hanging here. Start talking about yourself already. Jeez, Baka. Uh, okay, um, I'm Yan. They already know that. Oh, I don't feel comfortable talking about myself. A lot of help this is. Strawberry, I guess it'll just be you and me for whatever. Maybe we can get a conversation going, if it'll help Yawn talk to you. That sounds fine, but what are we going to talk about? I'm not sure I could hold a conversation with you, to be honest. Okay, Yawn will talk to me when she's ready. Um, but what do you want to talk about? I don't know, the weather? You human things just spit something out. No need to get all angry soon. As funny as it is, I don't think forcing the topic is the best way to handle this. Well, I don't see you spouting off any bright ideas. Um, well... It didn't seem like this would get anywhere fast. Yon was quiet and soon was awkward. Well, anyway, I guess introductions are over. That was a huge waste of time. I, I don't think it was a waste. I like strawberry. Yeah, yeah, you like all humans, Yon. That's not true. Humans can be mean. Besides, sh strawberry seems different. I, I can tell. <laughs> uh-huh. Whatever floats your squeaky toy. Hey, how's it going? Yon is such a sweetheart, right? Well, both Ku and he Hine? Hine are over by the TV. It's getting late, so I don't want you to miss out on talking to them. Yan, soon I'm taking Strawberry over to the others. We'll see you around. This way, Strawberry. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay. The TV. The area to the left of the TV was sparsely decorated and featured a large TV placed along the white wall. A comedy show with corgis as the main characters was playing on the t screen. Uh, hey, Hinek. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Hey, Hinek. Koo, a human is here to see you. Their name is Strawberry. To see us. Both dogs had darker markings than the others I had seen, and both seemed colder. Neither one seemed like they wanted to give me the time of day. Ooh. The TV flickered off as I approached with Dere. The darker colored corgi had her paw over the remote. Whether or not my presence disturbed her was a mystery. Don't mind Koo, she's quiet. Well, I'll be over there with Sun while you get, you know, you get to talking. I'll come back in a bit. Bye! So, who are you? I believe Dere called them Strawberry Koo. Are you here to adopt then, Strawberry? I'm here to adopt, but I can only adopt one. I'm here to chat. What are you two up to? Uh, I think, you know, beating around the bush isn't too good, but why does she have to keep mentioning, or they have to keep mentioning that it's only one? Like, yeah, they get it. So, whatever. So you're here to check all of us out before you choose. I understand. Well, uh... I was doing a bit of reading, and Koo was watching TV. Koogie's favorite show comes on around this time, so she's practically glued to it. She has it off at the moment, though. Their humor appeals to my interests. I don't really get it, but to each their own, I suppose. I prefer a good manga myself. Do you prefer manga and anime over cartoons and comics, Strawberry? There really isn't a difference. How dare you! I believe. <laughs> I believe that Hine meant to ask as if you prefer Eastern over Western styles in regards to animated shows and graphic novels. I like Eastern. I like Western. I don't have a preference. I don't know enough of either to give you a proper answer. Lies. Lies. Uh, if we're talking me personally, it's pretty even both ways. Uh, she, uh, I don't know. I like both of them. Uh, but this is like my favorite type of dog. It's like adorable. 
Uh. Damn it. Yes! Someone who finally gets it! Don't you just love their expertise in the craft? Oh my god. It's got a little amulet. It's so cute! It's got a little blush! That's adorable. Those frames, those dynamic characters, those plot lines. Nothing else compares. I think it's time for a subject change. Do you things look like they're going good? We were just wrapping up. It was a pleasure to meet you, Strawberry. Indeed. I guess it's time for you to leave, correct? It is getting late. If you're interested, next time I could go more in depth about the differences between... You know. Oh, fine. It was nice to meet you. Bye now. Well, I guess that's that. The TV flickers back on and both Ku and Hine return to their prior activities. Sticking around didn't seem like much of an option anymore. Let's head back to the front. I have the distinct impression that they want to be left alone now. That's it for the intros, I suppose. I guess the only one left is me, but I'm sure you've heard enough about me from one day. Oh, there you are. See anyone you like so far? I like all of them. I like most of them. A few. I don't really know yet. I like all of them. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad to hear it. The festival is in six days, excluding today. You have until then to decide. Just to keep it fair, I'm setting up an adoption for all six dogs there. However, since you're coming by to meet them personally, I'll let you pick one of them first. Whichever dog you don't pick will hopefully be adopted by someone else. Oh, I'm rambling again. Basically, take your time and get to know them. You can come by every day until the festival. Each day I'll be doing some different things, so be sure to drop by around the same time you did today. I'll be sure to wait for you. Ooh, I wonder what sort of thing she's planning. It's about time to close my doors for today, but thank you for coming by. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I second that. Have a good rest, Strawberry. Please see us again tomorrow. The day came to a close before I even knew what was happening. The dogs all had their own personalities, and at least a few seemed interesting, right? The apartment's empty feelings and to chill down my down to my core when I returned. Well, I love all of the puppers. I think my favorites are probably going to be Soon and Hine and Kuki, probably. And also all of them. But yeah, I think that's enough for one episode. Please check it out in the description below. See ya!